they go. My hey, right. Graduation. Yeah. We wait for you. Mm -hmm. You fired three times for me? Yeah. What do you mean three times for me? They announced They announced Oh, yeah. For real.
I am very happy to be here to commemorate this special occasion. Our ceremony honors this important milestone in their lives, and we thank everyone for their attendance. This is an acknowledgement of what has been achieved and the commencement of what comes next. To the teachers, staff, and families, I want to express my gratitude for your dedication to our students. You have gone above and beyond to provide them with a quality education and a safe and nurturing environment. You have challenged them to reach their full potential and inspired them to pursue their dreams. You have all played a vital role in shaping their lives. We are all grateful. To begin our ceremony, I ask that you please rise and join me in welcoming our senior members of the Saucon Valley High School Chamber Choir to the stage for the singing of the national anthem. to the ceremony of ceremonies, the class of 2023 graduation. It is truly an honor to be speaking to you today as the 2023 class president. Quite frankly though, a lot of people are wondering how a kid like me is even up here. Even writing this, people told me just to use chat GPT and no one would know. But everybody knows I have a different vocabulary. Steve Jobs said, In this distinguished group, we have National Merit Scholar Finalist Clarissa Phillips. National Merit Scholar Commended Scholars, Emily Chi, Tegan Lannon, Abigail Luftig, Hannah Rayner, and Gabe Stoneback. The members of our National Honor Society are wearing blue and gold cords. Would the members of our National Honor Society please stand? Students who have taken at least one advanced placement course during their time at Saucon Valley High School are wearing purple cords. Will these students please stand? <laughs> students in student government are wearing red and black cords. Will these students please stand? also like to recognize our students who attend Bethlehem Area Vocational Technical School and may participate in Skills USA and the National Honor Society. Will these students please stand? <laughs> All
Also tonight, you may see 1973 as this is the 50th anniversary of their high school graduation. What was it like in 1973? Some of the top songs that year included Tie a Yellow Ribbon Round the Old Oak Tree by Tony Orlando, Bad Bad Leroy Brown by Jim Croce, and Killing Me Softly with his song by Roberta Flack. The United States ended its involvement in the Vietnam War. It is now my privilege to introduce our next speaker this evening, our superintendent, Mrs. Jamie Velocity. Please join me in welcoming Mrs. Velocity as she shares a few words of wisdom with the class of 2023. Remove all of the filters and take a moment and look at yourself. I'm trusting you absolutely no filters. Really look at yourselves and think about where you were 13 years ago. When you jumped on your school bus or walked to school, parents think about the moment when you saw your student off to the first day of kindergarten. Class, think about what you won, the friends you made, the touchdowns, your parents, your grades, your boyfriends, your girlfriends, the dances, the conflicts, the obstacles, the pressures. Remember your study sessions, your pep rallies, your Bravo worthy moments, and your tears. Now, raise one of your hands, make a fist, or put your hand out like you're gonna give yourself a high five, and take a picture. Now, take a minute, I know, it's coordination, it's coordination. Now, take a minute and look at the picture. Give yourself a fist bump or a high five. I know your cameras are out, you like a good selfie, so high five or fist bump your picture. Some of you really struggled with that, not like with your neighbor. So here's a fact for you. Did you know that there is research on NBA teams that was done where it says that you can predict And of course, I can't forget to mention our basketball team performance this season. The one year I didn't play basketball, the team made it all the way to the state champion game by defeating Notre Dame and Southern Lehigh. I guess we all know who the weak link was. As for our academic accomplishments, well, we'll leave that for the class of 2024. Just joking. While it's true we are an accomplished class, it's more than just accomplishments that sets us apart. We have all contributed something to the school and have all grown and learned as individuals. It wasn't just the triumphs that got us here, but the mistakes as well. All the little lessons we learned along the way that we will take with us for the rest of our lives. We've already reflected on the past, so now let's focus on the present. In a few short moments, we will no longer be referred to as students, but as alumni. And now here we stand. Our rule is over, and it's time for the next class to step in our shoes. Yet our journey is not over. It is just beginning. Some of us will be going off to college, others apprenticeships and vocational schools, others will be entering the workforce, some even the military. So let's take this moment to let this occasion set in. We've all watched each other grow up, morph from scrawny freshmen to adults ready to enter the real world. While this may feel like the end, a time of yearning for the past and clinging to familiar faces, this is really a new beginning. We are now entering a new phase of our lives, one that will be filled with excitement, unpredictability, and endless possibilities. I'd like to leave us all here today with a challenge. Do all that you can to reach your full potential. In the wise words of a Lehigh Valley legend, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, if something stands between you and your success, move it, never be denied. If each of the 170 students in our graduating class do that, just imagine the impact we could have. The future is truly in our hands, so let's make the most of it. Congratulations to my fellow graduates and to the class of 2023. At this time, I would like to welcome the members of the senior choir to the stage. They will be singing the times they aren't changing to Bob Dylan.
Come gather round people wherever you are and admit that the waters around you have grown and accepted the sea and be drenched in the foam. Your time to you is for saving and you better the faculty and administration of Saucon Valley High School, we congratulate the class of 2023 and are ready to grant them their diplomas in recognition of this achievement. At this time, Mr. Fry will read the names of our graduates. Would row one please come forward? <laughs> Salutatorian, Emily Chi. Honors graduate, Allison Court. <laughs> Honors graduate, Tegan Lannon. <laughs> Honors graduate, Clarissa Phillips. Honors graduate, Abigail Luftig, <laughs> Sophie Babishak. <laughs> Jacob Albert. <laughs> Ishtali Alicia. <laughs> Zoe Coronado. Mm -hmm. Zoom in on the thing. Zoom. Which one? Kyle thing? Courtney. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My camera is on the Yep. Sean Preveling. Hunter Crookham. <laughs> Michael D'Alessio. <laughs> Gabriella Daniel. <laughs> Sophia DeMott. Daniel Diaz. Daniel. Luke Donay. Did you see Cody? Cody, no, I don't see him. I don't see him. I don't see him. Ava Dyer. I don't see his name and the name. Really? Of 2023. Will the class officers please step forward and join Mr. Kivik for the official turning of the tassels. Class of 2023, will you please stand? 
when they go the task. And officially turn your tassels in recognition of your graduation. You may now throw your caps in the air. Shut off. No, it not shut off. At this time, will all who are able please rise for the singing of the Saucon Valley High School alma mater. I would like to thank some very special people. Without the assistance tonight, would not have been possible. First, Mr. Fry. Yeah. <laughs> Ms. Casimir. Yeah. Ms. Bonhurst. Yeah. Ms. Bailey. Yeah. Ms. Aldifer. Yeah. Ms. Suriel. Yeah. Ms. Fisher. Our guidance staff. The Saucon Valley Maintenance and Custodial Staff. Thank you all. And also a special thank you to Center Stage of Mobile Technology Graphics for the assistance tonight. Parents, family, and friends, thank you again for joining us tonight as we celebrate the class of 2023. As our graduates recess out of the stadium, we ask that all guests remain seated until all students have left the field and exited the stadium. Graduates, please remember, once a Panther, always a Panther. Thank you and have a great night. Stay safe.
We have to, son. We have to, son. Wait, wait, wait. How much is this? How much is this? Son, a lucky one. I got 20, I got 20 coming out of the butt right here. John, lucky too. Mm. Yeah, you lucky too. What do you mean? You ain't lucky? You ain't lucky, John? Well, you're luckier than me. He's got ATV. Oh, stop it. You have everything. <laughs> Just pull it off? Just pull it off, right? Pull the bottom and pull, oh, no. the, pull yeah, the top straight off. Because John didn't good. do it right. And mm -hmm. it shouldn't work. Like this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, pull it straight off. Right. Ooh! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's stuck. Going into the picture. Oh. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Happy. For him, McKenna. I don't want it. Oh, you don't want it? He do. He do. Oh, I admit it, you do. You do. Oh, the fire. There you go. Let's see what in there. Oh, the candy. M&M's, oh, Kit Kat. Oh, What's that one? M&M. And, oh, and bracelet. Clad up for 2020. Open the shop. 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 <laughs> yeah, we got all the ice cream. Yeah, it's
Alright, we're gonna eat this food now? Okay.